Those of you who follow this channel or Lloyd's Run for Adventure channel or indeed the Trail and Error podcast with Jay and Tris will be well aware of the Arc of Attrition 100 mile race. A race which takes place in the dead of winter on the notorious southwest coast path in Cornwall. For the past few years I've worked for the race organisers Mud Crew to provide live streaming services and social media content for the race. But prior to that I did actually run the race three times between 2017 and 2019. Depending on how long it takes you to finish, there are different coloured buckles for completing the arc. If you can finish the race in under 24 hours, you get the coveted black buckle. Any finish under 30 hours and you get the gold buckle and a completion in any other time under the cutoff of 36 hours gives you the silver buckle. Thankfully, I managed to finish all three times I entered and got the gold buckle each time. Now it's fair to say when I first entered the race back in February 2017 I had absolutely no idea what I was letting myself in for. So it's Friday morning, I'm standing in Kovrak which is on the southwest coast of the UK in Cornwall. I hadn't been down to Cornwall to recce the route and I stood on the start line knowing only that the year before there had been an attrition rate of 75% so I knew it was going to be tough. If you'd like to watch my original Arc of Attrition video then that is linked up there. Suffice to say I was very relieved to finish just under the 30 hour mark and claim my gold buckle on the old finish line at the beach next to the blue bar in Porth Tower. I trained specifically for my second attempt a year later and the training definitely paid off. The weather was changeable with some very warm sunshine for the time of year during the days but then sideways hail, wind and rain overnight. My finish time was only marginally better than the year before primarily because of diversions on the coast path. There were some significant alterations to the route which added at least 4 miles to the course which is already 104 miles long anyway. My 2018 gold buckle is arguably my best performance at the arc, coming in at 29 hours and 13 minutes for 108 miles. However, my fastest time came a year later when the distance was back to its usual 104 miles. I wasn't quite as well trained as the year before but I finished in 28 and a half hours and it would have been faster had it not been for a small navigational disaster which added two miles to my journey. I was very annoyed with myself because having done the course twice before I should have known where I was going on that particular section. And if you do go wrong in a race, the recommended and the sensible thing to do is simply to turn around and retrace your steps back to the course. But I didn't. I decided to carry on and I convinced myself there would be a way back onto the coast path. It was a very bad decision. These days you are much less likely to go wrong on the route of the arc because there is a lot more information out there, the race organisers are a lot more particular about you doing the correct route and also the GPX file for your watch is far more accurate these days. I like to think that I could have finished in under 28 hours if I hadn't gone wrong that year but I got my gold buckle for my third finish and I've been back at the Arc of Attrition race every year since because I love it so much. It's a superb course and superbly organised with a reputation now as one of the must do 100 milers in the UK alongside the Lakeland 100, the South Downs Way 100 and the UTS Ultra Trail Snowdonia. If you would like to watch my Lakeland 100 2022 race then that is linked just there. Otherwise, we will see you again for another Medal Monday next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.